This is a, a video to talk you through just two examples of carbonates reacting with acids and us observing what happens. We're going to use something called lime water in this experiment. Um, I'm going to have a boiling tube with my experiment taking place in it. It has a bung in the top and a delivery tube to feed any gas that is released to feed that gas into my other boiling tube. In the other boiling tube, I'm going to have the lime water and that means any gas being released will come through the delivery tube and bubble up through the lime water. Lime water is used to detect the presence of carbon dioxide. Lime water should turn cloudy, like a milky white colour, um, with the presence of carbon dioxide. So I'm just going to pour some lime water into here so that the um, end of the tube is covered and then going to pour some that's a little bit of water there I'm going to pour some acid in but because I'm about to touch acid I'm going to put my goggles on for safety goggles on there so the first reaction is going to be with sulfuric acid I have one mole of sulfuric acid so relatively strong for a science experiment sulfuric acid and I'm going to add some um, MgCO3 magnesium carbonate to my sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is the chemical formula uh, H2SO4. Give it a little swirl to get the reaction going. We can see the bubbles coming through. We can see the bubbling up taking place as the reaction happens. We can see it bubbling through, and I don't know if it's visible on the video. I don't think it's very clear, but um, it has turned ever so slightly cloudy. So the liquid is no longer in this one. It's no longer clear it's turned a little bit cloudy. I don't know if that's particularly visible. Um, so there we go, that, that has shown us, in fact it's turning cloudier as we go. Um, that has shown us that the magnesium carbonate and the sulfuric acid have reacted. It's a relatively quick reaction as well as you probably saw. That's helped by the fact that it's a magnesium carbonate powder. Relatively quick reaction. Mm, it's not a cold test tube. It's, it does feel warmer than the lime water one. So I think there's an, a small amount of heat been generated in that reaction, which means it's what we call exothermic. It's given off heat. Thermal energy has been exited. Um, yeah, and we can see that carbon dioxide is produced. In my next experiment, I'll just give this all a quick clean through. I'll have some fresh lime water. Fresh lime water for the next experiment. And this one rinse. In my second experiment, I'm going to take hydrochloric acid, HCl, again one molar, but this time I'm going to react it with um, marble chips, aka calcium carbonate. They come as, they're not a powder, they, they can be a powder, you can get them powdered, um, but these ones are uh, chips, very small bits of what look like rock because they are. Put the lid back on and then I'm going to pour these in, pop the lid on and again we can see it reacting, it's not bubbled up as high has it? Um, 
but we can still see that there's bubbles. It's a slower, longer lasting reaction, this one. Not as vigorous as the first one. Probably to do with the surface area. A powder is gonna react quicker than a, a rock because there's more surface area. The powder's all ground up so it can all get access to the acid. But we're definitely seeing that the lime water is turning cloudy slowly. So we are seeing that again, carbon dioxide is released. So I'll just, we'll have a look on this board. Um, so we've had, we had magnesium carbonate with, uh, what did we react, react it with? Uh, so pure acid, wasn't it? H2SO4. And so we know that we've got carbon dioxide release. Yeah. Um, so what we don't know is the bit hidden by the test tube in the video. Well, it's all the other stuff. Um, magnesium. Sulfate. Um, I imagine there was some hydrogen gas released. What's the test for hydrogen gas? It's the squeaky squeaky pop test. So in another video, I'll show you what the squeaky pop test is.